This is Doug, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about invalid PIDs. Um, and now, actually, we also had a, a bug yesterday. The bug is all fixed, but the bug had to do with invalid PIDs. And I was explaining it to uh, some of you guys, and um, I realized it can be a bit confusing. So first, I'm gonna tell you what invalid PIDs are, and then I'll tell you about the bug we had yesterday. So um, as you know, you, you come to a page and you have the ASIN for that product. Every product has an ASIN and you create the listing on Price Shack either by just putting that ASIN in the box or by putting in the whole link, in which case we pull the ASIN out. So for this product, you can see it looks like the ASIN is B06, X, etc. cetera. And uh, this works great and we continue to remember that that listing on eBay is corresponding to that, to that ASIN. Um, however, Amazon does something really annoying which is every once in a while they will upgrade an ASIN. They'll actually take the product and change the ASIN. Now there's a number of reasons we think that they do this. Uh, one of those reasons is just because they might have two products that are the same and they merge them. Um, they're obviously trying to, to keep down duplicates. Um, they don't want duplicates on, on Amazon. But this causes a problem for us because um, that ASIN is no, it's no longer clear what product it's talking about. So I want to show you this ASIN. Um, it looks totally valid, and if you go to Amazon and um, well, actually, if you search for it, nothing comes up. But if you if you go to the URL in this format, it does take you to a product page. But this this product actually has a different ASIN. If we use YakPal and we go to Identify Product Variant, you'll see that the ASI the the actual ASIN. This this tool will always show you the actual ASIN. It's different. Uh, this one ends in K28, whereas the one in the URL was JM3. So if you had listed this item maybe two months ago, then um, then in the, sometime in the past two months, Amazon has changed the ASIN on you and Price Shack can no longer handle it correctly. So what we do is we classify it as an invalid PID. PID stands for product ID. In the case of Amazon, it's the ASIN. And what we do is we... First, bring that item out of stock, and then we put it on the invalid PIDs page. So the invalid PIDs page, you go to fix problems, track listings with invalid PID, and then they'll all show up on here. Now, this is a test account, and we actually don't have any listings with invalid PIDs, but you would see them on here if you did. And all of those items, Price Shack will keep them out of stock so that you won't generate any sales on them. Now, you can fix them by going to this page, looking at the Amazon listing, and then get, getting the new ASIN. But the important thing is to check that the description of the page you're looking at still matches your eBay listing page. As long as it's still the same product, then you're safe to go to YakPal, identify product variant, and put in the new ASIN on the listing on Price Shack. And of course, the way you do that is to go to the listing settings, and then uh, you just change it right in here under product ID. Now, we had a bug yesterday and uh, the bug was that we actually put all of the items that had invalid PIDs back in stock. And this meant that people generated sales on items with the invalid PIDs. Now, automatic ordering is actually much safer. It, it does things a little more carefully than some of the repricing things we do. And it caught that these were invalid PIDs and it sort of chickened out and refused to order them. And then they would have failed with product unavailable error. Um, now, the, the bug is fixed and all the items that have invalid PIDs are now back on the invalid PIDs page and they're also out of stock. But you may have generated some sales with that product unavailable error. And what we recommend is for those items, just go click on the link to them uh, from the order, go to the Amazon page, confirm that the description still matches your eBay description, identify product variant to get the new ASIN, and then paste that back into the listing on Price Shack and then retry the order and it'll work. So um, that should fix it. it you want to make sure that, that if there's any small changes on the Amazon page, then, then obviously don't put the new ASIN in there. Um, and then you can retry them and they'll work. Um, so and you'll, you'll probably still make some money on those. The bug wasn't all that bad, but I know it was very confusing, especially if you didn't understand how these invalid PIDs worked in the first place. Now, now that the bug is fixed, you know, the, on, on an ongoing basis, you really don't need to worry about these too much. Um, what I would recommend though is every once in a while go in here and either just delist them all because they're going to be out of stock forever. They're just costing you insertion fees. Or if you really want to be careful, you know, maybe you had something on there that did sell well and has good SEO um, in Cassini. Well, then go in there and update the ASIN to the new one um, as long as it matches. 
So that's invalid PIDs. I know it's super confusing, but hopefully that helps clarify it. And thank you for using PriceCheck. I'll talk to you later.